now i am going to show you the password validation i am now going to make it off so just comment it out okay so in the test.blade.php i am going to make the password validation so here i am going to comment this form off and then now i am going to copy this one and going to paste it here here enc type is not needed now because i am going to validate password so here i am going to give a text field what was like the contact.blade.php so here i am going to copy from here the name for example this one i am going to copy from here and in the test.blade.php i am going to paste it here okay so instead of name i am going to give here the password normal password field and here i am going to give the password so word is not needed in the case of password for security and here the class is also not needed for example or if you want you can give the class that is not a problem at all class is okay so i am going to copy and paste it here paste it here password so okay now in the contact controller where the request validate here i will work with the password validation now so i am going to give the field name first and then there will be a required so normal required should work i am going to check it, it check it here so here i am going to click on submit the password field is required so you know and it is very easy you already understand it now i will apply some more uh, rules here for example the password length you can use the mean 8 then what will be happen the password uh, field must be 8 character minimum so here if i give password like this you see that at least 8 character but the problem is password is showing so here i am going to make the input type equal to password so that the password text is not visible when i will type so here i am going to refresh you see that this one submit you see that do not save uh, the password field must be at least eight characters okay so it is working if you want you can also give here the maximum instead of minimum you can use uh, maximum here or if you want that you will use another one that is max that will be 20 character so here if you go here refresh you see that if i give something that is exit 20 character then click on submit it is showing that it is showing that the password field must not be greater than 20 characters that means it is working so this is another way to use the password here now i will show uh, you a system that is in order to confirm a password but before going there i am going to show you another okay uh, i first uh, tell you about that that is confirm password so here i am going to create another field so here another field that is confirm password and here instead of password here i am going to write that the password confirmation confirmation so this is password confirmation or here i am going to use another uh, for example confirm password con password confirm password okay so here this is the field name i am going to write it here that is confirm password here is confirm password okay now what will happen i am going here and i am going to copy this line and paste it here i am going to remove now this only record is here okay and here i am going to make the field name here that is confirm password and this is required but in the case of confirm password i will have to use another one that is this will be same as password you will have to use the same here same colon then password password means the first field same colon password means the first field then this field and this field will be matched must these fields will have the same data if i give something here and if i give something here that does not match click on submit you will see that the confirm password field must match password that means this one must match it how it is working with the same this keyword okay so this is uh, a process here that is very easy now i am going to make it off and i am going to copy uh, this line again paste it here okay i will do the same thing in a bit another way that is here i can use the default confirmed confirmed this one this is built in but in order to use it i am going to just remove it 
but how this two field will be matched if you use the confirmed here then this field name must you will have to use another reserve keyword that is password confirmation confirmation and in that case you will have to make the field name here that will be uh, password confirmation here it will be also password confirmation and here is password confirmation now i am going to refresh it here and click on submit this both fields are required if i do not match the name submit you will see that in the top it is showing the password field confirmation does not match then the message is showing in the case of top that means here it the message is showing but if you do not give the name exactly like this then it will not work so this is just a built-in system i hope you have understood now i am going to show you another one uh, that is password class you can make some other items uh, in laravel uh, from 8 uh, it is giving you some uh, facilities uh, that is i am going uh, to do another way so here i am going to make it like this i am now going to show you only the password field i am going to confirm password off okay so in the password field i want that a user when he will give the password the password should be a strong so how i can do that i am uh, going to or here it can be password confirmation field okay if you want you can keep it that is not a problem at all uh, password confirmation is okay you just keep it here in the top i am going to add some other rules here with the confirm what will be the rule for example here i am going to give here uh, here instead of this i am going to use something like password this class this class has some methods that can be for example min 8 you can use it because the minimum 8 character will be here i can use here by this symbol another thing that is if i uh, i want that a person who will give the password it must be at least on uppercase and on lowercase character both the uh, uppercase and lowercase uh, character uh, must be here so in that case i will have to use some function so here for the uppercase lowercase i can use the mixed then case so this is mixed case function if i use the mixed case this function that means you must have to give at least on uppercase and on lowercase character here if i now refresh it if i uh, click give something normal uh, for example a a a a submit uh, password not found uh, password class is actually not found so i will have to call the class in the top that is illuminate that is support and then facets facets and password i will have to call this in the top now let's if it is working if i recent i am going to add now another one that is use illuminate validation then rules password now let's check oh, sorry what is having illuminate validation rules password now let's check if it is working or not i am going back and here i am going to give one uh, a a a a a four cap, uh, a small uh, lower case letter a i give here click on submit yet it is uh, yes it is working now the password field must be at least eight characters okay if i now i am going to remove it okay if i now uh, give here eight character but there is no upper lower case for example one two three four five six seven eight i give here again one two three four five six seven eight if i click on submit you see that it is showing the password field must contain at least one uppercase and one lowercase letter so you must have to give it here for example a small a i am going to show you what i am going to give here so that you can understand for example i am going to give it here now so copy 
I am going now to use this one as a password paste here paste now you see success no problem so this is another way I can use here more logic for example I will give here another one what will be here that is numbers for examples I am going to tell that uh, you must have to give at least one number okay at least one number digit is needed you see that here are numbers but if I use the password something like that there is at least one uppercase it should not be problem according the according to the uh, previous rule but there is no number if I give here like this no number you see that it is uh, telling me the password field must contain at least one number now if I change the password for example I give any number here edit now if I check it here and here submit you see that now it is success so it is working you can add here another thing also that is symbol so here you will have to call symbols symbols mean you will have to insert at least one symbol any symbol that is not digit and alphabet here you see that there is no symbol I applied here so if I now use this password here for example like this and like this submit you will see that it is telling you uh, the password field must contain at least one symbol that means you must have to give one symbol so as a symbol here for example in any place I am going to add uh, percentage okay so now I am going to copy this one and now I am going to give it here so click on submit now it is success so in this way you can make your password strong uh, using very easy way that is here uh, in this case if you want if you can also use the regular expression instead of using the built-in method but that can be more more complex if you understood uh, if you understand the regular expression well uh, or if you uh, search online you will get a lot of regular expression uh, tutorials where you can just uh, from where you can co copy the code and paste it here or uh, if you understand the regular expression you can write any rules as you want so i hope you have understood uh, what i have shown you in this lecture